Acting Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said they had set a task to hold the best quality and best elections in the history of the Third Republic of Armenia. We need to hold elections that meet the highest international standards, he said, during Thursday's cabinet meeting of the government. In Pashinyan's words, the dragging of the public education sector into electoral processes shall be ruled out and the use of administrative levers to guide the voters shall be uprooted in Armenia. U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton's expectations for the Azerbaijan-Karabakh conflict settlement are not realistic for various reasons, Artsakh Foreign Minister Masiz Maidian said. He explained that the positions of the Republic of Artsakh and the Republic of Armenia on the settlement of the Karabakh conflict are clear. The authorities of Artsakh have consistently stressed the need to restore the trilateral format of the negotiations with direct and full participation of the Republic of Artsakh in all stages, which is crucial in facilitating a peaceful settlement and ensuring the effectiveness of the process, Mayan said. The General Prosecution of Armenia has dropped a criminal investigation against Kevin Kemal Öksüz based on lack of criminal offense. Öksüz is a Turkish-American lobbyist who is wanted by the United States for perjury regarding a controversial trip he organized for American lawmakers to Azerbaijan. At the time of his arrest, he was running a business in Yerevan. He was arrested in the Armenian capital in late August. Earlier, Armenia approved the extradition motion of the U.S. Armenia's Prosecutor General Arthur Davtian decided to permit the extradition of thief-in-law Mehrab Kalashov to France. The Prosecutor General's press service said the decision was based on France's request and the petition on the arrest and extradition of Kalashov, who is charged with money laundering and promoting organized crime. He has been in custody for two months. 